Today I'm going to show you how to efficiently use GitHub with VS Code without the terminal we all secretly dislike. In this video we are going to focus on how to add an existing VS Code project to Git and GitHub and how to update the files afterwards with just a couple of mouse clicks. First of all, before you start, you have to install Git on your system. Git is the underlining technology which powers GitHub. Secondly, make sure to have an account on GitHub and that you have VS Code installed. Just a quick check in the beginning, make sure that under the setting Git enable is checked. A little side note, GitHub is a version control platform to save existing projects and to work on projects in a team, but you probably already knew that. So let's start with the first step. Open an existing project with VS Code. Then go to the source control menu and initialize repository. It will ask you which folder you want. If your folder is already in the workspace, it will appear here. So ours is test project 01. Now the files that are not updated with Git appear with this U, which stands for untracked. To upload the files, we have to go through a two-step process, commit and push. To commit, we write a descriptive message of the changes. This is our first commit, so we say init and click the check mark. Now the files are committed. The next step will be to push the changes to GitHub. But if we try to do it, we will get this error. That's why we have to add a remote repository first. Go to view and command palette and add remote. Give the remote repository a name. I usually give it the same name as the project. So this would be test project 01. And now VS Code asks for the URL for the remote repository. So let's go to GitHub and create a new repository. You can give it a name. Again, I usually take the name I gave the project. So this would be test project 01. You either can have it as a public repository so anyone can see it or keep it private. So in this example, we keep it public. You can add a readme to your repository, which should have a quick description of your project. This is good practice in GitHub, so you should do it. But for the sake of the tutorial, we leave it out. Now we created the repository and we can copy the link and put the link in VS Code. Click enter. Now we're able to push the changes. You can push the changes here in the menu bar or what I like to do is go on this symbol. Now if you refresh GitHub, you will see our files here. If we make some changes, for example, we say hello world, my name is Sam. We save the changes and on the source control menu, it's automatically updated. Name change. So we commit the changes and we push to GitHub. And now if we open GitHub, we refresh the page, we can see the changes. And that's all there is to it. Now you can sync your updated files with just a couple of clicks to GitHub via VS Code. Also, don't forget that Git created a hidden file in your local folder. So don't accidentally delete it and don't make any changes to that folder. Another quick tip, if for some reason you need the repositories link again, just go here and you can get the link from GitHub. In the next video, which is in the description down below, I'm going to show you how to do it the other way around. So if you have an existing project on GitHub, how to pull it to VS Code. I hope this video helped. If you want to see more videos with tutorials like these, make sure to subscribe. And if that video helped, consider giving it a like. See you in the next video.